Hello everyone and uh, I'm extremely happy to have with me a dear student, Dr. Kriti Kundu. She secured a rank 46 in November AIMS 2019 PG exam. Heartiest congratulations Thank Kriti. Thank you ma'am. Thank you ma'am. The pleasure is all mine. It was uh, one of my biggest dreams to sit here with you. And, and I think even a bigger dream is to pursue your post-graduation yes, in AIMS. Um, yes, it was, it was one of the great motivations for me. Great. That is so nice to hear from you. And, uh, you know, Kriti has been an uh, uh, AIMS TND student uh, with us. And uh, so let's hear her strategy uh, starting from uh, Hama. Kriti, when did you start the AIMS TND course with us? Ma'am, I started in the January only from okay. January 6th it started. Right. Yeah, so from Physio I started with okay, it. Okay, great. So from January you started your wholehearted preparation yes, for the uh, exams. Yes, So let's let's hear out your journey. But before I actually hear out your journey, uh, if, can I share your uh, NEET PG rank just to show how yes, much? Sir, yes. yes, so she's uh, she secured a rank of 32,000 uh, last year in NEET. Yes. And now she's converted that rank into rank 46, which is absolutely absolutely commendable okay. it, it shows how much hard work and dedication uh, you've put in to come this far so I think your journey is going to be very very uh, you know it is going to be motivating for so many other students and you know who think that it is not possible so I want to really hear out from you how did you make it possible so if we start Kriti ki, uh, January se jab aap shuru kar yes, the, what was your mindset um, first of all, I think the most important thing is perseverance and discipline. Right. So this time I thought I'm going to give it my all and I'm okay. going to persist until uh, I can say that, yeah, it, it's okay now. Yes. So I, yes. I persisted. Like there were times when I felt low, like it's not possible and all that. Yes, those but phases come for everyone, right? Yes, ma'am. But the biggest thing is to keep moving forward. Everybody knows like uh, you have to study notes, you have to do tests consistently yeah. and keep improving your GT ranks and all that. But most of us forget that uh, everybody like even the master of something was at first a beginner yeah, and the master so has failed even more times the beginner has even tried yes so we have to just keep moving forward and keep doing the same notes over and over again keep giving the tests right and that is i think what makes the difference that's that's absolutely wonderful and that's a very wise piece of advice and i think yes when the journey is so competitive one of the most important things is perseverance that's absolutely Put right now, uh, Kriti. Uh, AIMS TND is a fast track TND, yes, so like you have uh, two tests in a week. Yes, so, how did you cope up and what was your study strategy for those tests, ma'am? I tried to finish as much as I could, okay, and then like you should prepare as much as you can, mm -hmm. and then after you should give the test wholeheartedly mm -hmm. and just try to approach the questions mm -hmm. and after that the teachers will come and they will explain how, how it is to be approached yes. so then you can see like where you went wrong because the options are so close yes like even like everything can be right but you have to choose the most appropriate and, one. and then you have to really know why this is right and yes, why others are not the answers although yes, they could be close yes sir. matches to the question yes that's, sir. that's absolutely uh you know something very very important that she is pointing out because in the current pattern of exams at least two choices are literally very close so yes, unless you have an in-depth knowledge yes, and understanding or concepts of that it, it is difficult to sort of rule out between two options yes, right and uh, kriti um tnd ke baad wapas aakar kya karte the beta Ma'am, after coming Suppose back, you gave the TND today and you've attended the discussion. So, what was your strategy kya hota tha for that subject? Um, for the subject, actually, time was very less. Mm -hmm. So, I could not continue with the same subject. Okay. So, I used to start with the next subject because right. you have to know all the 19 subjects mm -hmm. and not just one subject perfectly. Yes. So, I tried to do 70% of everything mm -hmm. and uh, then move forward okay and and uh, do you think that the test paper quality was good or what was required for you to prepare for the aims exam yes ma'am yes i'm definitely like at first i felt it's it's uh, difficult but okay. then if you see the last year papers and mm -hmm. everything and they give you they simulate uh, the kind of environment that you will be giving the exam in like yes the this is the kind of question that will come there's no point mm -hmm. in doing easy questions as such yes so the the paper consisted of all the quality of questions whichever okay. have come so far 
okay. and they really helped me prepare like my mindset towards it how i should approach it right great and uh, you know uh, you were telling me that you've been giving gts right from the beginning yes. so again what was your strategy for gts i mean a lot of people will say i'm not done with 19 subjects so i'm not going to give the gts so yes, how so. did you sort of uh, manage ma'am i think giving gts is very important like you should give you for your first gt the first time that you start preparing mm-hmm. because that will be your baseline right. so you should know like after giving gts only you will know which are your weak subjects like even after two revisions i thought i am all right in those subjects but mm. after giving gts i realized that no it's not at par i need to improve at those and and you know especially i think what you're saying is right because subject to bahut bada hota hai yes ma'am and what you need to know are sub topics usme yes, se jo aapke weak hain so that you exactly know ki aap kya padhoge to you will do better next time yes ma'am yes ma'am right and uh, then you know so you carried on did you also also i want to know did you follow the schedule of the uh, aims tnd yes from uh, that i followed re- religiously because okay. you need a time table and a yeah. schedule time like if if we are left to ourselves we'll just keep doing the same subject for a month <laughs> that's true so you managed with the pace right yes, and uh, uh, then you must have given the aims may exam so what was your rank in may aims ma'am in may aims i had a rank of 617 okay so that was so that must have boosted you that yes, yes you are in the right track and uh, you still didn't give up because a lot yes, of people want to compromise and you know and i think that was a very wise decision uh, of continuing because you were almost there yes sir but yes, not to compromise so uske baad fir humne kya strategy rakhi bache ma'am after that i knew that i have a good resource Mm-hmm. and i know which are the most important topics okay because of the tnd papers and uh, of th- because of the swts also right so i knew like what i am doing is right mm-hmm. and i just need to do it a couple more times so that it gets etched in my memory then wonderful yeah, and ma'am because what matters is what you do in those 3 hours yeah so and if you want to give your best in those 3 hours you should be in so much practice like giving exams should be like you you just know that you have to give the apprehension should not be there that's true acha ab kyunki main aapki baat sun rahi hu to mujhe aisa lag raha hai ki main aapse puchu kyunki agar main aapki junior hoti aur main ye sun rahi hoti to kya aisa hua jab aap may ke baad pad rahe the aur ye taiyari kar rahe the and you got a good rank as well and you thought of continuing so i would really want to know from a student's perspective that did you expand your material after that did you have doubts that acha aur saman ikattha karte hain aisa no ma'am no ma'am like even if even if you know a topic you you don't know ke whether you will get the question right or not okay so that is why you should be like uh, doing it the same thing over and over again right so that you cannot go wrong like in, in that in those 3 hours because the stress will be so much that's true and the more you have revise the same things over and over again then only you will be able to do a question right there's no point in doing like 100 topics and doing all the 100 questions of those topics wrong it's better to do 70 topics and do, do those 70 questions right i think that's a very very wise thing that she is saying kyunki nahi to sabse pehli cheez jo hum karte hain hame lagta hai ye saman kam hai aur hum hum sara samay wo saman ikattha karne mein nikal dete hain and without realizing that when you keep adding to the bulk uh, it becomes so difficult to revise yes, right ma'am. and i think uh, she is also pointing on the same thing that revision is the key rather than expanding the material so now let's let's listen to you from how did you plan your revision from may until this november ma'am then i i thought i should did you keep like... some targets because students would like to ask you ma'am aapka target kya tha aap kab tak pad rahe the fir kab aapne revision kiya ma'am i thought like i should do one good revision till august okay uh i was able to manage that and okay. even like even after one revision you feel like you're not remembering stuff or any uh, mm-hmm. and all that because there are 19 subjects yes, and ma'am. it's so vast um, at that time i used to think that okay i'll take stress after second revision if i'm not able to remember okay. so i i used to keep telling myself that so mm-hmm. uh one more revision i was able to do uh till mid of october okay and then ma'am after that i followed your revi- advice i gave swts okay. and then i did a retrograde de- uh, revision because uh, like while as you said like while revising we just keep seeing the same things over and over again yes, and yes. we don't realize what's important so i thought like i should change my strategy a little bit more wonderful so uh, that's how and do you think that helped yes ma'am that was uh, a great experience to be like able to uh, give exams like 
at that time i knew ke these are the important topics now yeah. i should read these and i could even assess like after two revisions how much i can remember mm-hmm. एंड यू नो वो आपको पता भी नहीं लगता है लेकिन पैसिवली जब हम हम लोग आप लोगों के लिए एस डब्ल्यू टीज बनाते हैं वी आर ऑटोमेटिकली कवरिंग द प्रीवियस ईयर पैटर्न सो दैट इज वाई वी वर स्ट्रेसिंग ऑन यू नो यू पिक अप दोज एंड देन आईडेंट इवन इफ यू डोट लिसन टू द वीडियो इट्स अ गुड आइडिया टू पिक अप द टॉपिक्स एंड देन रिवाइज दोज टॉपिक्स क्लोज टू द एग्जाम्स फिर आपने एम्स मॉक दिया था बच्चे Yes, ma'am. Uh, I gave a smock. I got a rank of sixty-seven in that, and that's pretty close. So you improved yes, on from there. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Great. And and was it a good experience, the aim smock? Yes, ma'am. It was a very good experience. Actually, ma'am, one thing I want to say is like even in the T N D before, like when the new pattern was coming up in May. like uh, all the teachers they give sample questions like yes this kind of question yes. will come yes. i mean like uh, saurabh sir gave an example like of pemphigus the levels will come and you'll have to sequentially arrange okay. and it came in the exam right i remember you also said like uh, the test uh, the cvs and the mnu sentences yes. it will come and it came so yeah. at that time i was like i was very sure like yes i have to follow the teachers whatever they say that is going to happen they have mm-hmm. so much experience mm-hmm. so at that time i knew that yes this is what i should follow and and you stuck to it and you just yes, did sir. multiple revisions yes, that i'm so proud of you that's Thank great you. and क्योंकि अपने माइंड को कंट्रोल में रखना भी बहुत जरूरी है बिकॉज इट विल ऑलवेज वांट टू डू मोर और समथिंग न्यू यस आल्सो हियर आई वुड वांट टू आस्क यू वर यू रियली रनिंग आफ्टर अपडेट्स एंड यू नो न्यू थिंग्स एंड रीसेंट चेंजेस actually ma'am i just followed the group only and mm-hmm. if something is very important obviously the teachers will, will put it no yes yeah so i think there should be like no other source than that yeah you restrict yourself and then work on it yes ek aur cheez beta kyunki aapne itna acha perform kiya hai the students aur aage aur bhi exam aa rahe hain baki bachon ke liye so they would want to know ki aapne let's say ek hafta pehle kya padha tha ma'am one week before like when i was doing my third revisions and after doing the swts i had written the list of topics that okay. i knew that i would forget okay. because after like i like in the beginning i used to feel like how would i know what my weak areas are yeah, yeah. i can But, understand that yeah and then so i had better sab kuch hi likh lo hai na ha yes yeah, list so, pura topic uh, subject hi list mein convert ho jata hai initially yes, sir, yes sir. but then after that i realized like these are the things that i tend to forget a lot and like specific tables uh, right. and all that stuff so i had a notebook i had written in the topics in that notebook so i knew what to do in the last uh, one week i l- did the last year papers okay. and those topics great great and you uh, did you utilize the aims uh, capsule as well uh, yes ma'am i utilized the aims capsule it was very crisp and uh, really like it it was a really good revision great okay and now coming to just a day before the exam kyunki abhi exam aane wale hain so bachche aap toppers se ye janna chahte hain ek din pehle kya padhna hota hai ab ek din pehle to i i just did those list of topics only because okay. i i thought the last year exams like i should not get those questions wrong okay and whatever i have done i have done so far mm-hmm. i think <laughs> that was all i could do okay. so the one day before exam i just revised like ipcs uh-huh. and the like my toxicology was weak i okay. revised that so j- just those list of topics wonderful and now if you can summarize for your listeners you know if they ask you what are the key ingredients to sort of get a good rank in the aims or the central institutes um, i think the first and foremost thing is to believe in yourself that you can do it and uh, perseverance discipline and just keep doing the same things over and over again the teachers will guide you really nicely and that is the core that you have to do you just don't run after multiple things mm-hmm. and just give multiple revisions and give regular test keep testing yourself keep assessing your weak areas yes. and keep improving on those weak areas great and something motivational that you want to say uh ma'am i Uh, i just i would just like to repeat what bruce lee had once said that i am not afraid of the person who has practiced 10000 types of kicks one times mm-hmm. but i am afraid of the person who has uh, practiced one kick 10000 times because he's going to be perfect at it yes sir that's that's great so again that reinforces you know लिमिटेड करो स्मार्ट स्टडी करो नो वॉट इज हाई यील्डिंग और उस पर बार बार हिट करो है ना बार बार रिवाइज करो एंड आई थिंक हर जर्नी इज इज गोइंग टू बी यू नो इट इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी वेरी मोटिवेटिंग फॉर सो मेनी अदर स्टूडेंट्स यूव यूव ट्रेवल्ड फ्रॉम अ थर्टी टू थाउजेंड रैंक टू रैंक फोर्टी सिक्स विच इज एब्सल्यूटली अमेजिंग एंड 
नहीं तो लोग कहते हैं कि ये पॉसिबल नहीं है बट वी कन्वर्टेड इट एंड वी शोन इट दैट यू नो इफ यू बिलीव इन योर सेल्फ यू कैन डेफिनेटली मेक इट हैपन सो एंड वॉट ब्रांच डू वॉन्ट टू परस यू बच्चा मैम आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन मेडिकल ब्रांचेस ओके सो आई एल सी मेडिसिन पीडियाट्रिक्स और रेडियोलॉजी वट एवर आई कैन गेट सो शी इज नॉट डिसाइडेड ऑन टू एग्जैक्टली वॉट शी वॉन्ट्स टू डू बट आई एम श्योर वट एवर यू डू यू गोइंग टू एक्सेल इट इट थैंक यू मैम एंड यू विल हैव अ वेरी ब्राइट फ्यूचर एंड यू नो वी गुड ऑल फ्रॉम डैम्स फैमिली विश यू ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच फॉर कमिंग योर इट वॉज एन एब्सल्यूट प्लेजर टू बी विद थैंक यू मैम थैंक यू Thank you.